This is going to be a very challenging uh, rules meeting, and uh, I'd like to start out the uh, meeting uh, with a moment of silence for the victims of the horrific shooting that happened this morning at the VTA facility. So if we could just take a moment, please, to, to think about the victims and the victims' families and, and what they're going through. Okay, so I would like to call the joint meeting for the Rules and Open Government Committee and Committee of the Whole to order. And Tony, if we can have a roll call, please. Arenas? Here. Cullen? Here. Davis? Here. Corrales? Jones? Present. Okay, we are going to start out with the agenda for Tuesday, June 8th. And we are going to start out on pages. Give me a second. Pages four and five. Six and seven. Eight and nine. Ten and eleven. Twelve. And thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. And page 20. All right, so we're going to see if we have any public speakers. And Blair, go ahead. Hi, uh, Blair Beekman here. It is, uh, I guess, the last Rules and Open Government of May 2021. So happy end of May. Um, I was going to take a day off today, but I, you know, with the events that happened this morning, I felt I should just show up and just try to be a part of the regular routines and how we know each other. And, uh, you know, I'm really sorry for what's happened. And I, I guess to first offer that uh, I, you know, to, to work our regular routines, uh, the, the agenda for this uh, item, uh, you know, the, the council, the, the posting for the June 8th item, it wasn't posted in the agenda. And I understand today is a special reason why that can happen, but it's been sort of a pattern lately. And I just wanted to kind of note it at this time as, you know, I, I hope you guys don't fall into the habit of not putting uh, council agendas on the uh, rules of open government. And if you do, if, it, if, you, if there is problems in the future, when can you guys note that? And, and when you're going reviewing the, the agenda at this time, can you go slow uh, in its, when you're scrolling down over it so the public can at least have more of a chance to look at each item? And that covers, uh, uh, you know, working our, still working our stuff, you know, our good stuff basically, because, you know, I'm really sad. Uh, you know, we had a, a really important, uh, City Council meeting in San Jose last night, and it, for, whether you like it or not, I, it was a real community 
gathering experience. And it's just really sad that this has happened today. And, you know, even though we're not fully always connected uh, with each other, we are, you know, and, and things interconnect with each other. And we have to, I don't know, just when something really important is happening, like the council meeting last night, it's, it's a time we respect each other and, and, and look at each other and say, what's next? And uh, I'm sorry the person chose the route he did today and uh, something Thank we all try to learn it on. Thank you, Blair. All right, bringing it back to the committee. Yeah, I get a motion, please. All right, it's been moved and can I get a second? Second. All right, Council Member Cohen, you had some comments that you wanted to make? Yeah, I mean, I think we're gonna we're gonna need a time certain on items 10.2 and 10.3. I guess I want to defer to Lee a little bit about this. Looks like a pretty full agenda, and it looks like there's also a COVID report. So, um, I mean, I would think this would be an item for an after dinner time certain. You know, maybe seven is better for this time since we don't know how long the afternoon part will go. Yeah, open to what the rules committee thinks is appropriate. If you, uh, I certainly think this is a very packed agenda. Um, and with 3.1, um, it is our intention to be um, crisp and summarized, but with all of the changing dynamics around CDC guidance, and hopefully we'll have a better understanding of what's happening from the state at that point, it, it could be a rather long one. So I would suggest um, notifying it for after the dinner break of 6 p.m. Okay, and we can obviously come back, revisit that next week at rules. So yes, we, can. Um, we don't have to make a decision now, but I just wanted to call attention to that. Okay. Whether we want to decide today or just wait. Uh, I recommend that we wait and see if there's any additional changes on the agenda that might influence that start time. If that's okay with uh, you, Council Member Cohen. Yeah, I mean, it's okay I, to make sure that we, yeah, we're going to have to set a time, but we can do that next Wednesday is fine. Okay. And uh, Council Member Arenas. Um, I was also going to suggest 4.1 as a time certain, um, maybe after six or six, uh, five or six. Um, and we might also think about the assessment of fair housing, but I, now that we have a couple of items that would be time certain. Um, I think at the very least, 4.1 should be a time certain. And uh, we can either decide today or at our next meeting. I'm open to that as well. Happy to discuss both of those with agenda services, the 10.2, 10.3, and 4.1 council member. And we can bring forward recommendations to the rules committee next week for your consideration. That'd be great. Thank you. All right, we have a motion and a second. Uh, Tony? Arenas? Yes. Cohen? Aye. Davis? Yes. Morales? Jones? Aye. Okay, on to the public record. Uh, I see one member of the public, uh, Blair, go ahead. Hi, Blair Beekman here, thank you. If I was gonna show up today, you know, I was thinking uh, if I was gonna be here today or not, the one item I was gonna comment on was uh, just the fact that I think the public record has been really interesting lately. And there's been kind of a variety of, of different people from different parts of the community offering their ideas and thoughts. And it's really interesting. And events like what happens today uh, can make us feel closed and not want to communicate and talk with others. I hope we can continue the good efforts of uh, just being open with each other to communicate and, and share and all that good stuff. Thanks a lot. Thank you. I get a motion from the committee. Motion to note and file. Second. Yeah. All right, it's been moved and seconded. Tony? Reynas? Yes. Cohen? Aye. Davis? Yes. Jones? Aye. Thank you. Okay, on to the consent calendar. Um, I don't see any public speakers, so. Move uh, approval. All right. Second. All right, I have a motion and a second. And Councilmember Reyes, I see your hand is still up. Is that from the previous item? 
or do yes, that. Vice Mayor, that was from the previous item. I apologize, didn't put that down. No worries. All right, uh, Tony. Marinas. Yes. Cohen. Aye. Davis. Yes. Jones. Aye. Thank you. Okay, the last item is open forum, and we have one public speaker. Go ahead, Blair. Hi, Blair Beekman. Uh, this may be one of our shortest meetings. Congratulations. Um, I guess, uh, thank you for the dumpster day item. We're just offering another dumpster day item that uh, all parts of the local of, of a local neighborhood can participate in on a Saturday morning. Uh, yeah, I wanted to uh, quickly offer that, you know, it's just, uh, I, 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 maybe this can be a time that if nothing else, uh, I hope we can learn the practices that we don't have to like uh, really hurt each other uh, in order to solve our problems. If we have issues and problems, uh, we don't have to resort to mass violence issues. And that may be an important lesson we can learn in San Jose uh in the south bay and uh i'm really sorry i mean uh yeah uh Chair chairperson hendricks of the vta has described the vta as a, as a family and i i feel really uh sad and connected uh to what has happened and i hope i hope we can learn how to work on this together and, and and really heal and grow as a community from this process thanks a lot thank you that was the uh only public speaker so this meeting is adjourned <laughs>